Many of us have already taken out our bikes for the season. And some are even ready for the kayaking and canoeing season. Angela Kelly joins us live from News Store Nash Wabadon that specializes in all of those sports. Hey, Angie. Hi, guys. Good morning. It's called Pedal and Paddle. And all morning we focused on the pedal, the bikes. Now it's time to focus on the paddle. And they have a whole wide range of kayaks here. Toby Curtis is the owner. Good morning. Good morning. Can you bring us through the different styles of kayaks you have? Yeah, we have um, three different styles. We have the recreational kayak, which is great for flat water, your little rivers, your little lakes, things like that. We have a transitional kayak that is good if you want to go like overnight camping. It gives you lots of storage and it can also go on a little bit bigger water. And then like over on this green and yellow one here, we have what's uh, called a sea kayak. It's longer to handle the big water like Lake Michigan, Lake Superior, it gives you lots of storage and it gives you rudders and skags in order to control the big water. Mm -hmm. So, great boats. Yeah, how much could a, on average could a kayak run me between? They'd start at like $800 and go up to usually about 2000 Okay, so you gave me some photos. Um, you and your wife, Cherry, did some kayaking not too long ago. Explain the kayaks that you're in and, and where you are. Yeah, we're in a 12-foot eddy line Skylark there and we're, it's a recreational kayak. It was a beautiful, calm day. Um, out on Lily Lake in Brown County there. Beautiful area. We've got the girls out doing some kayaking and it's just a nice peaceful along the shoreline and things mm -hmm. like that. So a great sport. A couple other areas you might recommend doing kayaking around our area. Yeah, a lot of people like to go in some of the rivers like the O'Connor River up north. Um, there's also the Fox River obviously and then um, there's some great spots in Door County great viewing along the bay side and as well as Lake Michigan side. Mm -hmm. And uh, one kayak that's uh, been in a lot of uh, different waterways locations is this one above here. Tell us a story about this. This is my brother's kayak. Um, he went down the Mississippi solo about 12 years ago um, and he's got about 4,000 miles on that that kayak. So he went down the whole way and then you know camping on islands and stuff so a great story. Yeah he's got quite the adventure and in fact um, they had, he wrote a book about it, yes. uh, Bluffs and Bayous, and if you buy a, a kayak... A kayak will give you a free copy just because he likes to, to tell yeah. his story. And I actually was just kind of shuff, shuffling through it, and I already I was kind of really sucked in. He's talking about these water spiders like coming <laughs> on top of his kayak, and uh, yep. just uh, it's really adventurous, uh, the whole idea of it. Absolutely, so, yeah. Thanks so much for having us here this Thank morning. You. We'll toss it back to you guys. Love Very it. Cool. Hey, thanks, thanks Ange.